you guys. Mm. Oh, that is cold. Okay. Okay. This is one of my all-time favorite beers. It's Delirium Tremens. I think it's, wait, what is ABV on this? It's 8.5, so you can get yourself a little bit schwasty before you know it with this. I am so excited about this video because I'm doing a giveaway. This is my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I know on YouTube, 1,000 people is not a lot of people, but in my world, a thousand people is a hell of a lot of people. I wanna thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching all of my videos, for laughing with me, for being supportive. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you what exactly is in my giveaway. It's a pretty nice little package, I'm just gonna say. Besides my giveaway, the theme of this video today is an American Horror Story apocalypse inspired look. Everything on that show is fabulously goth. There's lots of purple and black, already a little bit Drunk. So I'm gonna do this video sort of like in a get ready with me style. I have a bare face I just moisturized. I'm going to use my Fenty Pro Filter and this is the color 150. I'm gonna mix a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Which is a really nice dewy light foundation. Give me something in the middle of matte and dewy. Just using my beauty blender to pat that into my skin. How are you guys feeling about this season right now? I feel like it's a little bit of a mess. Murder House was my favorite season, point blank. I love that it was like set in modern day, but it also, you know, went back to all these different time periods. Give me a possessed house and I will watch that shit all day and all night, okay? I feel like they're trying to bring back too many seasons of American Horror Story. There's Hotel, there's Coven, there's Murder House. All of a sudden we stepped away from goth Sarah Paul for like two episodes and I need her back right now. Sarah Paulson could honestly wear a gunny sack and walk around just phoning in her acting constantly and I would be here for it. What is it about her? She's magical. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade Light 12. Also, is anyone noticing how gaunt Kathy Bates looks? She is wasting away. I mean, honestly, she looks as good as somebody possibly can who's basically playing a robot and is giving me just really thin black lips and a very severe updo. Is that an updo or is that short hair. I can't even tell what's happening with people's looks on that show. Everything is so dark. I can't even really see what anyone looks like. I'm not a huge person for using like a cream contour stick, but I'm going to go in with my Fenty Match Stick in Amber. Sarah Paulson is giving me some really, really, really intense cheekbones in this show, so I guess I'm gonna go in like that. I guess I'll also do my nose because why not, right? Even when Sarah Paulson is playing a villain, I'm like, I can't dislike you. I have to tell you guys, I actually really relate to her character because I used to work for Disney Cruise Line and one of my main roles in their musical was, was to play Lady Tremaine, which is pretty much what Sarah Paulson is playing in Apocalypse. She's giving you like a high neck purple Victorian situation. She's giving you the exact same style hair. She has a cane and she's a bitch. All she needs is like a fat goofy cat and it's Cinderella. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. You can see that is just like a really perfect shade for fall and winter. Guys, comment below and tell me what your favorite American Horror Story season is and why. I need to know. Also, can we talk about how there are four characters on the entire series who look completely the same? There's Matt Bomer, Cheyenne Jackson, Wes Bentley, and Finn Whitlock. Is that his name? Finn Whitlock, the guy who played Dandy. Kind of like generically handsome white guys with brown hair, am I right? Confused. I am going to use my favorite to this day, MAC Next to Nothing. I'm also loving that it's finally chilly here. I can wear dewy looks and I don't look sweaty. If I hear one more person complain about beautiful fall weather being too cold, I will come for you. Just kidding. No, I'm not, I'm sick of it. Also, everyone in New York City, take off your puffy coats. It's 59 degrees outside. We're not there yet, okay? I'm gonna go in with my NYX HD Banana Powder and just brighten up that under eye. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil in the color Bangin' Brunette. You guys, I just watched Scream for the first time in years. You guys remember when that movie came out? I think it was 1996. I was in middle school. Watching it now was super fun, but it is a little bit problematic. I find myself watching so many movies that were made really any time before, you know, two years ago, and I'm like, that's how you're gonna depict women? Okay. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in clear, and I'm just gonna feather out my brows. Oh no, there's a fruit fly in here. Mother, well, guess summer isn't over yet. 
Oh, if you think I'm not drinking this, you've got another thing coming. Surprisingly enough, this eye look is going to be super simple because I'm going to be using my ColourPop Jelly Much Eyeshadow. I have this product in four colors now, and it is a total game changer. This is the color Half Moon. It's kind of like a maroon purpley eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and apply this with my finger. It has this like gorgeous purple shift to it. I wore this one day. Oh, shit. Just got it everywhere. Literally just put a little bit on and then blended the hell out of it with a brush. And it was just like the perfect subtle berry wash of color. We're gonna get a little bit more intense than that with this look, but just know that this is a one and done eyeshadow situation. There's no creasing. It's not gonna make your eyes look crepey and old. So I'm taking this a little bit above the brow bone. I'm just gonna go in and blend that out with a fluffy blending brush. Oh, it's so pretty. It honestly is so workable. It blends so well. It doesn't dry down super fast. Hold on a second, I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take that same Jelly Munch color. I'm gonna do right underneath my lower lash line. Love products like this because there's no fallout. Honestly, sometimes I wonder why I even own powder eyeshadow. We're almost like rimming the entire eye with this. I cannot say enough about these eyeshadows. They are brilliant. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner. This is in the color Alkaline, like a really pretty sort of matte maroon color. Do my waterline with it. I don't want to spoil anything, but I don't think you're going to be shocked when I tell you that Stevie Nicks shows up for another essentially music video in Apocalypse. When she shows up, I'm always like, oh God, here we go. What is this? And then midway through, I'm totally invested. I'm totally into it. She's got me wrapped around her finger. I also really appreciate Ryan Murphy for giving her like zero lines. Stevie, no one wants to see you act. Just get up there and sing. I might have needed a little less hair crimping with her latest look, but you know what? Stevie, you can do whatever you want, it's fine. I'm gonna go in and do my mascara. I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash because I'm on a horror movie binge. Um, I watched the original Halloween again. I have one comment. I just wanna point out no one in that movie is wearing a bra. And listen, I'm all for a no bra situation, okay? If you can get away with that and it's comfortable for you, you better live your damn life. The beginning of Halloween opens up with Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. Love her. She is wearing a straight up knit turtleneck with no bra. I wanna know who does that. If you've done that and you enjoyed it, I need you to put it in the comments below. I even texted my mother and I was like, is this a thing in the 70s? Were you walking around in turtlenecks with no bra? She's like, no, you're a nut. Yes, I know that going braless is like a very freeing thing, but also in this case, I'm looking at this movie and I'm kind of like, this seems like something that a man thought was a good idea. Am I right or am I right? Hey guys, we're done with the eyes and now we're gonna go ahead and do the blush. I'm gonna be using this pure palette which is called Midnight Masquerade. This was sent to me in a boxy charm and the review of that box is going to be coming up next week. This palette has a perfect blush color for this look. This color is called Reveal. It reads really dark in the pan but it actually looks really gorgeous and berry on the skin. It's actually kind of stunning. <laughs> Guys, I apologize. I keep on moving my camera around because I use daylight to film, as you can see right here, and it is like just shooting through the window and there's nothing to be done. So I don't know if you noticed, but life is super glamorous here in New York. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is in the color Train Bleu. It's this really beautiful black purpley matte. I'm going to rub it on my finger and then diffuse it. I find oftentimes that's the best way to use really, really, really dark color. Otherwise, sometimes it's really patchy. It doesn't go on smoothly. I always feel like that's just a much more wearable look, especially if you're going out, you're having drinks, you're eating, breathing, you know, like a human being. You can really change the nature of a lipstick with how you apply it and what you apply it with. Because it's diffused and there are no hard lines, it actually gives the illusion of your lips looking bigger than they actually are. I'm gonna, you know, be a little extra and use some highlight. This is my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the color Be My Highlight. Right along the brow bone. 
Okay, obsessed with that. Mm. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it's a really beautiful, dramatic makeup look that is really gonna make an impact, but it's really easy and approachable. Now I wanna tell you what I'm including in my thousand subscriber giveaway. I don't get any PR at this point. These are things that I purchased with my own money. There are two Dose of Colors block party eyeshadows. One is in the color Olive You, and the other is in the color Wild and Free. And I included one of the Desi and Katie lipsticks from their first collection called Savage. It is a rich black base burgundy lipstick. It is absolutely stunning. These products are like the best of the best and I'm so excited to give them away to one lucky subscriber. Entering the giveaway is super simple. You do have to be subscribed to my channel. Click the link under my video and it's all pretty straightforward. I'm so grateful to be above a thousand subscribers and it's all because of you guys. He is looking at you, kid. Mm. Bye!